Hello, people. Happy New Year's. I hope you enjoy the gameplay today. And as you can see from the title, it says fucking New Year's resolution. And that's because I'm trying to be a rebel a little bit. But in reality, you know, if you guys have some awesome New Year's resolutions, post them in the comment section. I'd love to fucking hear them. But here's what's important to me. I don't have some crazy wealth goal or some subscriber count goal or grades or anything like that. I have no goals set for the end of the year. Because, to me, the, the most important thing is to be as happy as you fucking can every single day and to be in the present moment as much as possible. And that might sound like some really silly life saying, but hear me out on this. Let's say that you have a goal of getting a Ferrari by the end of the year. So you say, okay, well, I'm going to work overtime at my job. I'm going to sell this. I'm going to do this. All right, I'm going to work this hard. All right, I'm going to lease it. Okay, this is the down payment I can put on this. I can remortgage this. Look, you're going to be the same exact person right now as when you step in that new car, as when you step into this new body that you want to create for yourself, whatever it is. You're going to be the same exact person. So in order to be as happy as possible, it's not about the Ferrari. The Ferrari's not going to make you happy. The new body that you want to get for the summer is not going to make you happy. You being happy right now is what's going to make you happy. It's, it's a really simple choice. And that's why you see all these, like, rich fucks that are really, really depressed. Now, don't get me wrong. Money is awesome. If you're, you know, a high roller baller status and you're making six, seven figures, that's awesome. And you know what? It's awesome that you don't have to worry about money anymore. And I think everyone should get what they want. But at the end of the day, it's really not what matters. What matters is being happy, you know, showing love to your friends and your family, you know, having a strong work ethic living up to your potential that's what really matters and if you're sitting here saying okay woman well, have a new body by here by here by here whatever are you living up to your potential right now are you waking up and you know working towards what you want to be right now are you living your dream right now if you're not then wh what the fuck a new year's resolution isn't going to do you any good whatsoever now let me just backtrack a little bit, and I want to talk about this idea of an extinction burst. I don't know if I've mentioned it on this channel or not, but it's, it's this really cool idea. Have you ever had a bad habit or a addiction to something with food, video games, or you want to you know, get out of some bad situation or something, and you, and you just can't do it? Well, let me use working out as an example. Let's say you're, you know, your diet sucks. If you make a promise to yourself that you're going to eat healthier, you're going to work out, you're going to do all this great stuff, your mind will actually start working towards that. When you make a promise to yourself, the psychology behind making a promise to yourself is incredibly powerful, and it can do a lot of good for you. So, you know, if you tried to kick a habit, what's going to happen is the first few days, it's going to be great. You know, let's say you, you know, eat chips every fucking day. First few days, it's going to be very easy to, to not indulge. But then your body and your mind go through this thing called an extinction burst. And it's a survival thing that we still have from like 40,000 years ago. Where, you know, the stuff that you're addicted to is going to kick into high gear. You're going to have the craziest cravings of all time. You're going to want to just indulge and eat donuts and blah. So, an extinction burst is exactly as it sounds like. It's, it's the last hurrah. It's the last push to try and get you to do something that may not be good for your health or what have you. So that promise that you make to yourself is what's going to carry you through this quote-unquote extinction burst. Extinction burst is just think about it like an addiction that is rearing its ugly head for the last time. It's making its last stand. It is, you know, the Alamo times 100 in your mind. So all you got to do is hold out and all you got to do is keep moving forward, keep that promise in the back of your head and just be the best you that you possibly can be. I don't have a subscriber goal or a grade goal in college or anything like that because, you know, fuck, we'll just touch on subscribers real quick. I, I have 950 people, or we are, you know, there's 950 of you guys that are willing to listen to what I have to say, and that's, that's huge. And that cannot be understated. You know, most people, they say, oh, well, how many subs do you have? It's like this weird statistic. It's like, oh, you only have 5,000? Why don't you have 10,000? Dude, you have 5,000 people that are willing to say, wow, I like what this person has to say. So I'm going to click on that subscribe button because I want to hear more of what he has to say. That's powerful. I mean, this 
This channel has what? I think 80,000 views? That blows me away. I've never spoken to 80,000 fucking people. I can't even imagine speaking to 900 people. I mean, I'd love to one day, but it's it's amazing to see that when you think of each individual person and that's 950 of you that are willing to listen. Even if I only get like a few hundred views on a video. I mean, that's people say, "Oh, you know, oh, that sucks. You know, you'll do better next time trying to make the video go viral." A few hundred people decided to listen to you. Have you ever spoken in front of a few hundred people? That's like a good-sized comedy club. And it's just it's just silly to me to make these really crazy goals because at the end of the day, you know, you're going to be the same person once you hit that goal. If you hit the goal, you're going to be the same person. So why not say, okay, my goal is to be happy every fucking day. I'm going to be the best me I possibly can every fucking day of the week. I'm going to wake up and I'm going to be the potential that I always know that I have in, my, you know, in myself. So that's my New Year's resolution. I don't have like a goal for grades or a goal for anything. I mean, I have stuff that I'd like, you know, I'm working out incredibly hard every day and it'd be really awesome to like show off some cool fucking ripped body at the beach. But at the end of the day, I'm working out because it feels good. I'm working out because I like to move my body and, you know, see what this whole fucking thing feels like when it's in motion and, you know, pushing myself to the to the extreme. That's what I like to do. So that's what I'm going to keep doing. But, you know, a goal like that is, you know, it's whatever. If I get there, I get there. I'll still be the same person right now in the body I have now that I'll have at the beach five months from now, or six months, whenever the fuck that is. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is kind of a different take. At the end of the day, you know, I could have broken this video down to 30 seconds. You know, the journey is more important than the end of the start. Forget who said that quote, but, you know, it's a powerful quote nonetheless. So I hope you guys had a great New Year's, and I hope you enjoyed, you know, good times with friends and family, and I hope you are living up to the best of your fucking ability. And if you're not, then what the fuck are you really doing, people of the internet? Anyway, I'm out. Fucking New Year's resolution. We're out of here. That's it. Peace. Have a good day. And uh, catch you on the flip side, motherfuckers.